Hi, hello there. Okay, so let me move a little closer. I wanted to, I don't really want to, but there's been many articles written on this for the last few months and some people have came out with their experiences around this certain school in Thailand, which is still around, sort of. Um, I had experience with a school back in 2011, quite a few years ago. Um, the school's at Gama, it's in Copenhagen, uh, an island off of mainland Thailand, and um, I'd already been a Tantra teacher at that point, but I wanted to learn more, of course. And I was working on the island next door, Koh Samui. And when that finished, I went over to check out Agama. And right away, I got a kind of weird vibe, but I went with it anyway, so decided to do one day. And I did the yoga class there. And the yoga is really great, it's great yoga. Um, maybe a little slow paced for a lot of Westerners but it is very challenging. And I liked the yoga, but the teachers, many of them, I got a bad feeling from, and I really trust my intuition, and um, I decided not to study there anymore, and I'd planned on being there at least a month, taking a training. So I decided to leave and I actually ended up meeting a former teacher of Agama and studying and sharing with this person and then I also learned a lot more about the school from this person and some other people that had worked or did work with Agama and there's many good things to learn with Agama and I understand like people go there and they find out some bad things and they stay because they want initiated into this program and to learn more but my thing is if the t main teacher of any ashram or any school is whether man or woman is harassing the students into having sex with them and not even tantric sex just like hardcore fucking then I'm not gonna even fully trust the teachings like how many of the teachings are authentic or maybe not you know maybe halfway so I'd rather find a school that I trust more like I had in the past um, find teachers that I trust so yes I could have stayed and learned many practices and met a lot of cool people because the gamma is nothing but youngish fit healthy tantric people on this like jungle island like everyone's coming there to just like get away and learn and do yoga and maybe party some so yeah it's a fun place to visit but I just heard so many stories and had a little bit of experiences with seeing how the main teachers were and some of the women there that did things as well or helped support these guys doing bad things. And this is just my experience and what I've read about and heard. And if you're being over a tantric school, then even if you were having sex with the students, it should be a tantric healing experience, not just um, hardcore fucking and STDs and everything. So thankfully I didn't get involved in any of this and I feel really bad for people who did and thought that's how you learn Tantra. But I've also heard many people that went and nothing like this happened and maybe it's because some of the big teachers were off the island at that time or um, I've heard it from a guy that was there but he's kind of a sexy guy and these older sort of out of shape men um, aren't gonna be 
able to hook up with all the hot chicks in the Tantra yoga workshop if, or sex orgies, because the sex orgies are happening, if there's some young, or not kind of young, sexy tantric guy there, all the women are going to be going for the sexy guy, and guys know this, they're not going to invite a super sexy guy to the tantric orgy unless maybe he's like you know one of their friends or teachers they want more action for themselves so I think that's what happens a lot of times is people aren't getting the invites to these things so they assume nothing is going on um, yeah the other side of it is if these main teachers were like super sexy would it, you know, more women would want to be having sex with them, right? Um, especially if they practice what they preached with the tantric lovemaking and connections all the time. So this is my experience. And I think when we're looking at schools, we have to look at all different types of reviews and teachers. And it can, with teachers, it can be difficult, but schools, it's pretty easy to find stories about them. Um, and just like trust your intuition. Don't ignore your intuition because people are saying, no, this is a great school, nothing bad happens. Because these gurus or cult leaders can be surrounded by people who were victims and came to them for help. And once they get help, they want everyone else to join and they want to only say the most praise for this person. So it's not necessarily that these women surrounding them are bad people, it's just maybe they're victims and maybe they don't even know 100% what's going on, like they know what's going on. But yeah, just search out teachers. I have an online program so you never actually have to come and train with me in person. You can learn a lot of tantric things just by doing my online program and there's many books out there and there's others that do teach workshops and retreats who you, you can trust so i hope i explain this in a non-harming way i didn't want to come off too rude with my experience at the school i definitely didn't talk about everything i heard because um, it is pretty awful and just things I saw and talking with the teachers myself, some cr pretty crazy things. But I'm just trying to inform people on the risks of going to some of these schools. And um, yeah, I hope that you find this helpful. Anyway. So anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you find this helpful and I hope you find an amazing tantric teacher and yoga teachers. Thank you.